Be good. It's like everybody wore capris up in this version, though. Like <laughs> even the guys. He would look so funny wearing capris. <laughs> right. Oh. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today, we are doing something very spectacular, something that's close to my childhood, something that got me dressing like a hipster right now with these little... <laughs> All these little glasses right here I got when I do yard work and shit, you know. I gotta represent because that's how characters rock it up on Digimon. And that's what we're gonna be reacting to, man. We're gonna be reacting to all the Japanese openings of Digimon. Digital Monsters. Yes, this is something that's gonna be new to me because I only had the privilege of reacting to the Western US broadcasted versions of the Digimon openings. Mm -hmm. You know, like um I love Digimon Adventures 1 and 2. I also mm -hmm. love Digimon Tamers for bringing it to the world, you know, making it feel real. Mm -hmm. Giving us that grittiness, you know what I'm saying? I still get nightmares thinking about what Jerry became like, or the little evil version of Jerry from Digimon Tamers, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And I also get nightmares for looking at that whack-ass version of Digimon, which is called Frontiers. Uh, like the concept, but don't like the execution, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man. Digimon Digital Monsters, man. Like, this was my first experience of, like, the digital world. You know, I know we got social networking and stuff right now. We can't stay out of that digital world because we can't be, help but be nosy people like that. But, yeah, this was my foray into the digital world, man. Really? Yeah. This is like Pokemon except with, like, more computerish type stuff, you know? Like, they had their own card game. But at first, the concept was really the Nano Pet. AKA like the Tamagotchi. You know what I'm saying? The good folks over there, uh, I forgot Bandai, they just came up with something where they would take the whole nano pet concept and they would apply monsters to it. And just judging by your yawn, I know you're interested, you're trying to maintain your hype and stuff like that. That's what it was all about, man. This would have been before my time. I have no idea what is going on. Yeah, but we're about to see what's going on, man. Like I said, it's going to be my first time watching these Japanese openings. Hoping I have all the openings. I have the right playlists because I don't give a damn if I don't. And if y'all, you know, flip out on me like y'all did on the Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh, man, y'all people get butt hurt over there. But, um, yeah, this one right here is uh, 14 minutes long almost 15 minutes you might as well say it's 15 minutes so yeah this is gonna be all the digimon openings in hd japanese edition so uh let's say we get into this shall we okay y'all did they still found they all falling like that yeah they got yeah, they, they getting going. absorbed into the digital world man oh while doing the spin rooney in the air Okay, this is different. Like they got more of a hip hop kind of sound for the Americanized version, but I remember these visuals. They did actually utilize this stuff. It's like the Digimons, they have like an evolutionary process called Digivolving. And they transform into bigger monsters at different levels, different classes and stuff. Wow, 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 okay. I don't know why this is giving me um, Sonic Heroes vibes. <laughs> Sonic Heroes? This is definitely giving me Sonic Heroes. See, like, I'm dressed up like this character with the goggles on his head. Oh. Yeah, all the main protagonists of the Digimon, they have goggles on their head, so I had to represent. I was wondering why you had those on. A giant cactus with boxing gloves? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. I love this monster. I love that monster. Anybody that got flames, I love them because they spit hot fire. Kabu Terry Mon, I mentioned him a couple times. Bitch. Just put a middle finger up in there. Okay, so these are the crests. So this must be season two or something. Zero two. Okay, that's what it's called? Adventures or is it just zero two? Yeah. It's a new generation right here. Oh, these are different people. Yeah, some of them are uh, reoccurring. Like, there's two characters that are reoccurring, but the other ones, 
are like, oh, they're grown up. They got other shit to handle. They got bills to pay. I don't blame them. So you see them in the back? Mm-hmm. Like these two, they're reoccurring. They've grown mm-hmm. up though. Like the little kid that you saw with the angel hovering above his head. Mm-hmm. For the win. These are some interesting looking characters. I'll say that. Are monsters. Yeah, it's like they have like this thing where they can digivolve, but they have like a thing called a digi egg, which has like different kind of powers, like different power sets. And they wear like armor. They call it armor, DNA armor, digivolve or something. I like this season. I think they overdid it with the pop. Up in the Western version, though, like the pop music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rawr, bitch. This is the one I really love because they made it like what would Digimon be like if they existed in the real world, and it had this kind of meta kind of vibe to it, mm-hmm. where they acknowledge the fact that Digimon is a property, like a. They is. I was waiting. I was like, okay, we are gonna drop it on us. Be good. It's like everybody wore capris up in this version, though. Like <laughs> even the guys. He would look so funny wearing capris, <laughs> right? <laughs> this one they could merge with their Digimon. Oh shit! Yeah. I love that version. I like bunnies. The guy that came up with that concept, he has an obsession. It's like they end up as a darn transformer. Right. They end up like robotic and shit. It's just crazy all the different shapes and forms they can take. Yeah, they have the little shades. (laughs) I love that one too. That one is cute. Yeah. Like, we gonna step on y'all. We walking with our shit. Walking in our Capri. For real. We ain't tiptoeing in Jordans. Okay, this is the one where the people become Digimon. They don't have Digimon partners. This is the one I didn't like because I didn't really get the idea or I just wasn't vibing with it. Like, I want people to have a Digimon with them yeah. that they can grow off of. I don't want to turn into a Digimon. I'd probably be an ugly Digimon. Right. I like how you just agree with me that I would be an ugly Digimon. Oh, I thought she was like saying, yeah, it's like, oh, if we were Digimon, we would transform ugly, you know. No, you said it right. Oh. I mean, I know I'd be an ugly Digimon, but I'd be a raw ass Digimon, you know. I'd be a, a Digimon that could spit, you know, like rap and shit. Oh. See, they take forever to show what the Digimon look like. One of the girls, right? She had lingerie and shit, coochie showing. She can do the spinning rooney with the best of them, though. One of them turned into a polar bear. I like that one. That looked cool. Oh, they just look like Power Rangers to me. That looked tight. There's a Kabuteri mine. That's gotta be a Guru mine. They got uh, devil fruits on here. Okay, harmonize with it. These are like some teenagers. You niggas say a bone samurai's in harmony, man. Okay. I don't. I do not know what this one is about. This is where I just tuned out. You probably was an adult by this point. I probably was. Okay, we got great mind. I recognize the monsters. Well, I need to see that outfit right there. The animation definitely increased in quality. Mm-hmm. But it's like an organization now, though. You <laughs> got boxing gloves on a wolf. MMA gloves. Not familiar. Is this the same kind of great mind, or is this an evolved form, a new form? That nigga like he too cool for school. What are you supposed to do? Nigga look like she done dragged her mama out there. Right. 
Hey, digital accident. Digimon savers. Come to save them hoes. Okay, okay. So these are the same people. They must be rivals or something. I see them crossing paths a lot. Ooh. Ain't a lot of some of the Digimons that look humanoid. I know a lot of guys we used to talk about I, I would hit that when we were younger. Wait, what? I had zoned out. I was just jamming and then I heard some I'ma hit that. Yeah, it was like the humanoid Digimon, like the women Digimon, they would look kind of sexy or they'll be dressed scandalous. And guys would be like, yeah, I'll tap that. I would try to head and just stay zoned out, jamming out. <laughs> what? Y'all be trying to sexualize the Digimon people. Hey, man. Hey, no. okay. Agumon is the main protagonist. All right, we in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio level now. Let's go. I got to... There you go. I had to stop it at the right time. Not going to lie. I did not like the first two, but so far, these other songs have been pretty good. Yeah. Is that a black kid? I don't know what that is. He got a flat top, though. I see that. He a little more brown than the other two. Okay, he's like the Izzy of the group. He uh, a tech wizard. Wiz kid. Yeah, we got this. Power of friendship, courage, bravery, wisdom. The fuck is that? A Roblox? That was like a chicken. Oh my god. But a Transformer. Uh, we went from Digimon to Zoid, y'all. What the fuck is going on? I'm not feeling that. My name is God now. Right. Okay, Starro. Speaking like he belongs in Zach. Oh, you got some clippers. She got, she got Jabberwocky uh, Digimon. They got the pop lock on it. Okay. Uh, these look more like toys than Digimon. I know Digimon have different types. Like you have like a toy based Digimon. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing like bits and pieces of this one like on commercials mm -hmm. and stuff. I ain't never seen none of this. Well, this animation looks good. Yeah, it does. Every time I see that thing, I think about that little one robot that they always reference in different anime. Uh-oh! Monster Hunter, babe, with Girl, boots! what is she wearing? <laughs> is she a Digimon or is she just in that world? So she got the Yiddies out on full display. There was a Digimon with a fro? Okay. I always wanted to go to the digital world, man. There's so many out of the ordinary things that happen. The way mm -hmm. food is made. Saying that, girl. What's the name of this artist, y'all? She is getting it right now. I like this Digimon, too. It looks cool. I'm not even gonna lie. Ever since, like, the second or well, the third... Uh oh, that's a <laughs> It's oh. a map. Okay. From the Digivice, okay. It's like after the third or fourth one, all of they these just it. look like Gundams. Yeah. The other ones look like actual animals, monsters. These just look like. Was that a cyber. Gundam. What was that? Uh, what's that Imp Man Evolution, guys? Well, he looked like an animal. Yeah. That purple one. Is that a turd? A turd. Yeah, I know they have like different animal, like Digimon that are based off of turds. Turds? Yeah, like the turd emoji. I used to think it was like ice cream when I was young. Numamon or Goldmamon or something? I forgot the name of that damn thing. I think it was a Numamon. Okay, I got background dancing with these devices. That's like a Gobblemon right there. Hey. Okay. That dude looks like some food. <laughs> Alright. Like it could be the mascot for Dairy Queen. I thought you liked Dairy Queen. I do. So I say it looked like a Dairy Queen ice cream. Oh, I thought you meant like. Ooh. Hey. Oh, I can turn into a he drill. Way more cool when he's not in his smooth cream on all. Yeah. Still got, got a whole tummy gun. That <laughs> nah, look like the creeper from Minecraft. Uh. Put your hands where our devices can hey, see them. Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh oh. Hey, I do too. I'm scared, man. I don't even want to know what the future holds for us. They went to 2049 on us. They did. This nigga falling and shit. Oh, he got to reach for his dick device. That's how they get him. Digimon Universe. Those okay. Look like apps. They do. So you can just click on it, like on uh, Persona 5. Go to the Shadow World. Nigga had that toy Terry Bogar hat on, didn't he? You see how the main protagonist just keeps the goggles? Mm -hmm. It's trademark, man. Eat your heart out, Ash Ketchum. You wish you could look cool as the main protagonist in Digimon. Hey. Uh oh! He had his own little kids bop, Digimon. Mm -hmm. Hip hop edition. Ooh. Okay, you can bio emerge with his. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I like that one. You got an Edge Lord and his Digimon. Toy Animation. I remember this. I think this is like the one where they made, like, based off of the first one. Mm -hmm. Except they're more mature. Digimon Try, I believe it's called. Yeah, these are like movies. Mm. See how good the animation looks? They are looking despeckled. Right. I love this one. I love the movies. They always blur out their faces, though. My nigga Tai. Yamato, aka Matt. Sora. It's like everybody looks more mature and stuff. They got on a mature drip. Mm -hmm. ah, damn, why is it so distorted? Now, the only thing that I did not like when it came to the westernized version, they would Americanize the names of the characters. Like, they would call, like, a guy like Takaru, they would call him TK. <laughs> and Tai Chi, they would call him Tai. And Yamato, they would call him Matt. Yeah, I remember this song now. Hell yeah. That's what I'm hey, talking about. It now, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like they missed one. I know they recently came out with a new Digimon series. Hold on. Did they come out with an opening? I think they did. Yeah, this one right here. Digimon 2020. Let's go ahead and check this one out, man. So I ain't got nobody pissing and moaning and bitching um, and complaining. You missed one, and I'm gonna have to give you a decision. Right. So let's do it, man. Play it. I think they had Goku's voice actress narrating this. The animation in this shit looks god tier that as That orange fuck. dragon must be the main Digimon. Oh yeah, that's the standard. He's like the Pikachu of the franchise. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like a retelling of the first version. Like a different twist though, like different story concepts. Mm. But I thought it looked really good. I can't wait to see how this is dubbed. They was playing that piano. Okay, got them shoes from JCPenney's. Nothing wrong with yeah, I think this is the guy that sings those Dragon Ball Hero openings. So a little little touch on the uh, first version. Yeah, very much. It's like a little kid playing with a toy and they just do shit. Mm -hmm. It's like the Digimon, they start as babies and you have to train them and then they gradually grow into those monsters. Mm. But they just grow into like big ass <laughs> sock puppet silly slammers to these big ass looking killers and eventually giants. Hey.
Hell yeah, boy, they fighting in the digital world. Why I like the training world from Street Fighter? Even the way they digivolve is so cool now. A little dribble with bat wings. Right, that thing goes from that to an angel now. Oh, really? Yeah, like that, that angel you saw? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well. Hey, man, but uh, there you have it, guys. No, we're not done yet. You haven't seen anything. Get ready. That, 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 that. We ain't done yet. Thought y'all could get us, didn't you? We're going to go ahead and finish this thing off the right way so we ain't going to miss nothing and y'all ain't going to have shit to say. Here we, we still go. going to miss one. I hope we don't, but who knows? They're going to be like, say! <laughs> This looks like that one where they got the apps again. The killer apps. These niggas look like Pokemon characters, though. I feel like I need to swipe the screen or something. Let's swipe this shit. We didn't see this already. Nah, this is uh, opening two. Mm -hmm. See, I remember this dude right here, the Edge Lord. I mm -hmm. thought Nick would have some uh, new ports or something he was popping. <laughs> Warning tobacco use. Mm -hmm. Underage tobacco use. He gets singing his heart out of him. He is. He over there singing that. We got this. They got that Terry Bogart cap on. Oh, uh, what's that? Her fuel, right? Bob Ross. Yeah. <laughs> About to get consumed by darkness. Like Guru Ramon. Yeah. He did. He did. Okay, this is the most recent one. I just kind of remind me of that Overlord theme. So this is the most recent anime right here. And he has a weird haircut. He ain't got no nose. He don't. Y'all breaking the tradition, man. This nigga fall downstairs and shit. This kind of reminds me of Persona, man. Y'all got murder mystery now? His ass was looking weird. He caught in the web of lies. It's like the storyline. <laughs> Got a triceratop mind? I was about to say, this looks like the storyline going to be extra intricate over this Yeah, one. like dark. They got demons? Well, they always had demons in Digimon. Just ran on my parade. No, I'm just saying. He looked like a demon. <laughs> oh, oh, they got horn cannons? Okay, that must be the big ones, Digimon. Oh, that nigga look clean. I like how they can go from being hefty to very nimble. Mm-hmm. See how thick he is right there? Thickosaurus Rex. Right. He looks like he's his guardian's protector. Now back to the main storyline. See you guys there. We watched all the Japanese openings, openings uh, or at least uh, to my knowledge we did, but that was really good. Like, um, It felt like I was stepping on familiar territory because as you guys already know, if you have watched the US broadcaster version or any other version that utilizes a lot of English or westernized adaptations of it, uh, they used most of those clips except they added their own little spin on it, which was like a Digimon hip hop digi rap to it. You know what I'm saying? Di 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 Digimon and shit like that. But yeah, that was really good. You know, I like how Oh, one thing that I will say about Digimon is like I always preferred their art style because you never know what you're going to get with a Digimon, man. Them motherfuckers, they go from being like a naked dragon or, you know, like, you know, a dragon that ain't got no clothes on, uh, nothing mm -hmm. like that, to a fucking bipedal dude bro werewolf with brass knucks, 
some ripped jeans on and stuff like that and a damn skull and bone tattoo like they just have so much drip or they can just go from being like a baby dragon to like this angelic figure with a helmet on and blonde hair coming out of it and with three angel wings and shit freedom thing yeah you know i like that and then you got your devil ones you know like they never shied from like doing esoterical or stuff that reference biblical times like one time they was going to fight this monster named Myotis or Maramon or something like that. And this nigga was coming out. He was basically like Count Dracula except mixed with the devil. And all of a sudden, all the clocks went from like 666 up in Japan. And, you know, and they aired it up on uh, on Fox Kids TV. You know, they didn't censor it out. You know, that's something that I always appreciated about Digimon. Never shying away from going into that dark territory, you know. Never doing that. Especially in Tamers. Tamers will always be dark to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, what did you think about that? What did you think about the styles of the monsters and the music? Or what did you think about the gradual improvements of the animation? Um, yeah, you can definitely see the improvements in the animation. I do think, like I said, the first few were like crazy animals. And then it went to just everybody looking like a Gundam robot. Um, yeah, I hate that. I hate when the everything The Go-Dexter Family Go robot. And, <laughs> you know, Transformers. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I wouldn't care one way or the other, but I did notice that. Mm -hmm. um, I hate angular designs. That's where it seems like most iterations were to be Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Digimon. Everything's going for that angular robotic look. Mm -hmm. You can't tell what kind of animal it is anymore. Yeah, it really wasn't even animals anymore. It was right. just, you know, here's my robot. It's like, okay, might as well be fighting with Transformers now. But right. um, again, I, yeah, I wouldn't care one way or the other myself. But I did like... Um, most of the songs is, you know, pretty good mm -hmm. for what they are. Again, there's no, no anime openings, by and large, are not my type of music. But these weren't bad. The first two songs I didn't just love. But, you know, yeah. the rest of them were pretty good. Um, overall, for these openings, I feel like I would give these... I'll give them an A+. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lean more into my bias and give them an S. Because, like I say, I like how they just continue to improve. Uh, also, like how the, like I say, the main protagonists, they always make them look cool. You know, D Digimon, they just got the drip game on lock. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. It's like they never shy away from just bringing that cool style into it, you know. And you had the adventure characters, more so, more so along the lines, kind of like stereotypical. Oh, this person is just this person because they like soccer, or they're the it girl. You also have the nerd guy who's just mm -hmm. very reserved. But in Digimon Adventure Two, everybody swag on point. They got fucking jackets that match they style and they digimon and stuff like that like the main character he got the flames on the jacket looking like somebody like a lost member from harlem heat from wcw like booker t gonna recruit him and tag him in give him the hot tag mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying tag him my boy flames your mind so yeah man shout outs to digimon shout outs to all the fans still gotta play the game i don't know which one i'm gonna play i might try to get digimon survive because i've been hearing good things about that but yeah man that's gonna do it for us today man a, a plus from my wife and an s from me but what is your your thoughts on this? What ratings would you give these episodes? And tell us some of your nostalgic memories about Digimon. Are y'all getting that new Blu-ray that shot, uh, not Shot Factory, but uh, I think uh, Disco Tech. Yeah, Disco Tech Media, they doing a Blu-ray of the English broadcast version. Remastering everything from the ground up. Y'all getting that? Let us know in the comment section below. But this is gonna do it for us today. This is your boy RBG, my lovely wife Johnny Lee. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction. Be sure to vote. Also, if you want to get like first priority, be sure to go join the Patreon, tier two. So yeah, peace.